racing right now to develop a coronavirus vaccine and distribute it. CNN has gained exclusive access to the preparations at an airport in southern China where they're gearing up to ship a vaccine once it's approved. Let's get right to David Culver. David, tell us everything. What are you seeing? All right, Laura, what makes this unique compared to what we're seeing in the U.S. and in the U.K. and other parts of Europe is that this is not about domestic distribution of the vaccine. This is about global distribution. So China already planning to export it, and they're not just doing this for goodwill, I can tell you that. It's partly because the Chinese companies behind it are going to benefit financially, and it's an opportunity for them to repair what many perceive to be a tarnished image after a lot of allegations of mishandling early on with the start of this outbreak. In either case, we were able to get a look at what that distribution will look like coming from here in Shenzhen. You're looking at one of the cargo jets that will soon be taking vaccines that are approved here in China, made by Chinese biotech companies, to the rest of the world. This one is a charter, Ethiopian cargo. It's their pharma wing. Look over here. You can see they're already loading up some of the PPE, some of the face masks, some of the hazmat-like suits. Inside, however, they have built an infrastructure that is temperature and climate controlled. Why does that matter? Well, as soon as the vaccines are approved, they have to be kept at a certain temperature setting. And that is the only way they can be transferred from start here in Shenzhen in southern China to finish. For this aircraft, it continues on to the Middle East. the company is now adding more routes for greater global reach. We are not still quite sure about uh, uh, the exact demand on that, but we are definitely building our capability to be prepared for that. While China is yet to approve a vaccine for public use, Sinel says their end-to-end -end climate control infrastructure is in place and ready. The required temperature, which differs depending on the vaccine, must be maintained throughout transport, from leaving the production facility to airport storage, and finally, to global cargo distribution. For example, the uh, Shenzhen Airport Terminal, they have already set up a cold chain warehouse, and, uh, uh, mainly for the medicine suppliers. CNN got an exclusive look inside that cold chain facility, which will soon store the approved vaccines. Now these chambers can be specified and even customized based on the required temperature for each vaccine. And they can put them in different chambers within so as to accommodate that. Sinal then works with different airlines to ensure the cargo temperature is sustained throughout the flight. In this case, Ethiopian Airlines. Since the start of the pandemic, they've flown more than 3,000 tons of supplies to Europe, Africa, the Middle East, and South America. So we do the same also for the vaccine to distribute to all uh, destinations around the globe, and then we take care of a lot of human beings. Now it all sounds incredibly promising, but the reality is this all depends on a vaccine actually being approved here. And you've got several biotech companies that are competing in the development of a vaccine, and they face a lot of scrutiny. There's skepticism over their lack of transparency and questions about how effective their vaccines really are. If they can overcome that, Laura, and they can win back some of the trust globally, then we know that companies that are the Amazon-like equivalents here are ready to ship starting today just fascinating to see how it's all coming together logistically all right david thanks so much all right to business now let's get a check on cnn business this morning taking a look at markets around the